This has got to be the last Chinese New Year set. Stop making these. Sooner or later, if I actually make my own city, I can make an entire town of just people eating Chinese New Year food because there are too many of these freaking sets. Oh, look at the little iPhone. You got an iPhone in there. Just calling anyone on the phone? Dude, I don't want to lose this in my ear, man. Hello, is anyone there? Okay, that was kind of freaky. Yeah, let's look back here on the floral. Oh, I just knocked over all the bowls and the plates. Which is pretty much meaning Happy Chinese New Year's. Please give me your red pockets. Even though I'm married, I'm supposed to be the one giving them to you guys. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Pick me up, Scotty. I am Scotty. And check it out. Third time's a charm, right? Man, how many more of these sets do I have to do that is related to Chinese New Year's? Okay, so just like the panel set, the set is trying to write off a Chinese New Year theme. What is going on, you guys? Why is everyone like... Lego's doing it, I gotta do it. But at least these guys were trying to be original as well, as you can see. The only difference here is the tables on the chair. Yay for originality, or kind of, but that's it. Everything else is totally different, or is it? This is from Zing Wei. New Year's Eve. They're just calling it New Year's Eve, but we'll call it New Year's Eve dinner. Six, six, zero, zero, one, 950 plus pieces so might be more than 950 who knows you never know with this kind of stuff i feel like deja vu right now seriously what's going on here all right you know the story you know the idea and the concept what they're trying to do let's just jump right into it so right away you can tell that they're trying to be close to the lego one it's almost kind of like the same dimension than the layout but funny enough everything is really different inside and i'm seeing some new designs that i have never seen before I don't know if these are called illegal techniques or not. You guys can let me know what you think when we get to those objects, all right? Let's look at it from the outside first. As you can see, it's only two and a quarter of a wall there. So, you know, dang, they didn't close it off, man. That's kind of cool on the side here. You got like a really nice floral decoration there. So you have two lanterns here on the side wall, which is very similar to the Lego ones, except they use little flowers in between each part. That makes it stand up differently, not too bad. And the window is just this gold piece that we've seen before. They flipped it sideways. And I do like the little vine there. The vine looks pretty, but it's not connected right here. See, it's really loose. They could have probably just put like a one by one with a little stud sticking out to hold that in. But you know, at least you can still bend it to your will and adjust it how you want to adjust it. You know, I kind of wish they just did that to the back here. I just wish they had a vine coming across something, man. But look at this back wall, yeah? You know, I'm still used to putting bricks together, like one by fours, one by threes, and then you put the fours on top of that, and you just have this nice layered look of a wall. They kind of cheaped out here and just put these flat panels as a wall. I'm not really liking that too much. It looks really weird like that, yeah? But that is a minor flaw. I guess if you have your own bricks, you can do it your own way. That's it for the walls. It's all opened up here. Yeah, look at that though. Actually, it looks kind of nice on that monitor. Okay, so on the front entrance here, you got a kumquat tree, which is like little tiny oranges or mandarin. I should go eat one and try one. And the tree was actually fun to build. A lot of pieces. And we actually do sell these trees separately. It should be available on the store. And I have a Chinese New Year video that was from, from last year up here. And you can buy it, like a custom one, you know? If you don't like the set, and if you only like this tree, you can buy the tree. I'm gonna put one banana to the side because it's just tipping over this bowl that's here on the table. Let's look and pretend that we're gonna walk in to the front door. Got a little welcome mat there. Ugh, it's like a throw up green. At least it's a little bit better than the Lego rug on the inside, right? With a sticker on it. By the way, just so you know, the translation is from Ida. She said it's kind of hard to translate these. So this is like a general idea, okay? So that translates as safe going out or, you know, be safe when you go out. Above the welcome mat, there's a couple stickers here along the door frame. There's no door there. Why is there no front door? You just walk into this house and be like, yo, what's up? Top one says, a safe and peaceful land. The left side says, good atmosphere around the place. And on the right, it says, new breeze comes with a new year. Okay, let's walk inside here. This is a big curtain going over the window. And what a weird stand that is. They put a handbag in the shelf. Maybe it's a Hermes handbag. You know, it's one of those $100,000 handbags that they have to like treasure and show everybody. And you got this flower there, and that's the first time I have ever seen them use this little piece and stick it into that flower. It fits in there perfectly. I just kind of laughed at it going, okay, I don't know if I like that. You guys like that? Or would you rather just take that piece off? It's like a feather coming out of a plant. Anyway, that's the entranceway. You walk on in some more, and then you can see the back wall there. 
Now that looks more like a home. We have a full refrigerator. We have a water cooler machine, a coffee machine. Where's the kitchen, man? They probably could have like maybe put this shelf here that you see next to the coffee machine and put that by the door and where the coffee machine is now, make a little bit of a kitchen. But hey, it's cool, man. It's a new brand. We got to give them some slack, right? The fridge is a little bit weird. I don't know, man. It's different. I'm going to see if I can take it off. Yeah, I can. Here we go. I got most of the fridge out, but there's the fridge. It works. It's functioning. Look, the door opens. Look at all the drinks inside there. That's what I'm talking about. What kind of drinks are those in the fridge anyway? Filled to the max. But the door is kind of loose, like the whole thing can kind of come off like that. And these plates are only being held by one stud there. It's different the way they designed it, at least I hope it's an original design. But it's still cool. I like the fact that you have a fridge in there. And then we come here to the water machine and it looks very typical. We've seen that before. The coffee machine is funny. They use one of those brick gold bars, but it's black to emulate a coffee machine. Next to that, you have some empty cabinets. You got a green cup on top, some trophies and a policeman's hat. So we know there's a police officer working up in here. He's gonna bust you, arrest you, and invite you over for some Chinese New Year dinner. Then we come to the store back here and it is blocked by these presents. What a weird placement for the presents. Maybe those could have been shifted here on the other side of the table so that the people can come inside. And at least they have a floor mat there that looks okay. It's red, it's simple. And then we come to these stickers above the door. On the top one, it says, all things happen as you wish. The left side says, safely leave the past year. Like, you know, life goes on, I guess. And the right side says, happy and good things welcome the new year. Now, besides this door and above the trophies, the sign says, peaceful home brings everything easy in life. That is so true. Okay, so you got this crazy, this design of this picture frame thing is kind of out of this world. It's really protrudes and sticks out quite a lot. They use little gold bars again on the side, but they're brown and they have some more decorations along the top and those are printed. And again, like the other set, these little symbols, they all mean blessing. And there's a painting inside, a sticker. The, the picture is actually really, really hard to see, but they actually look like they're at the panel set. Isn't that weird? Is that a sign? Does that mean something? But it's a picture, like a CG render of all the minifigures there. One family photo together. The picture frame thing though, just looks crazy thick, man. They had to be that thick. They could have just put that thing on a wall. Would have been fine, but okay. Let's move on to this couch. I don't know if that's like a wood sofa or what, but I thought that was actually pretty okay. I like the size of it and it felt really good to build. Nothing's really fallen off. It is a little bit loose on the top because it's just held down by, you know, one or two studs, but it just holds pretty tightly in there. That's not bad at all. I like it. It's a good size. And then we come to this crazy looking table. Now they did tile there. Unfortunately, they did not tile anything else. You know me, I wish it was tiled. New brand, if you're seeing this, just tile your sets. And if the people don't like it tiled, they can just take off and leave it studded, but I prefer tile. But anyway, at least they did a the little carpet area here. I like the gold with the blue. This table is like what I was talking about. I have never seen this done before. They used a panel and they stuck it into these joystick pieces. And is that an illegal technique? You guys tell me, but how hilarious is that? It genuinely looks like a real table. And there's a little accessory on there. It has a telephone and this bowl. I hate this bowl. If you try to balance out and put too many fruits on it, it will tip over a bunch of times. I tried to not put two bananas on there. One will be just fine on there. There's two bananas, two apples, but you know, do your own thing to it. And yeah, she keeps falling down. Now in front of that table, it's a television stand. TV swivels up and down, and that is a sticker on the TV. Oh, look at the chubby little babies on the TV screen. I'm not sure what they're watching. What kind of show is that? What is up with these two little flowers they have here? I would probably move those and put them away, but you know, it's how weird they double up on the flowers and put those feather, they, someone went high on these feather things, whatever the tips of these things are, and just started putting them on all, all the flowers. Kind of weird to me, but you know, I would get rid of those flowers and change it with something else. So that side has a lot of room and the entrance has a lot of space too. It's the table and the chair area, like the sofa and the presents. It's a little bit crammed right there. If I had to nitpick about it, I think they could have fixed that a little bit better or maybe expanded the plate just a little bit bigger or made the table a little bit smaller. I'm not quite sure. It is a little bit crammed there. And then we come to the table. Here's the table. All prints, by the way. Some of these dishes, I don't know what they are. And on the sides, on the ends here, you got the chopsticks and spoons. 
Those are all printed. And you got some drinks here. What drinks are these? These are like tomato drinks or what? That's a picture of a strawberry on it. It's that strawberry, I don't know why they're drinking strawberries. The bigger table is locked, it doesn't rotate, but the middle one sure does. This is a very Chinese thing indeed, this part here. Usually you get those in the restaurants, they're just like hot pot style food. So you boil the water, put all your food in there, and take off the cap and take it out and eat it. And then you got the other little food surrounding inside there, what looks like shrimp. I don't know what that other thing is that I see right next to it. It's like vegetables. I don't know what that thing on those vegetable is. What is that? It looks like it's, I don't know, man, you guys tell me. You got like a salad here with some eggs. I'm not sure what the red things are. Those looks like claws or, or olives or maybe those are tomatoes. I'm not even sure. And the other one is like, I have no idea, man. And you got four little, what seems to be like bowls of soup or maybe those are sauces. I'm not sure, but there you are. That's the dinner setting. And last but not least, we got the roofing here. At least they put a little bit there. And these are really simple to build and you can adjust them up and down how you like. And at least they have them there to kind of give out that oriental flavor. And of course the set does come with six minifigures. You got the grandparents, you got the parents, and you got the kids. Here they are, look at them. Yeah, okay, let's check them out. Let's start with the elderly folks first. You got grandpa and surprisingly, he looks good. I like him. I like the color of his glasses and his little mustache and his printing looks A-OK. -okay. That's not bad at all. The hair is kind of crazy. It's like silver. And you got grandma with her silver hair and her wrinkles on her head and nice printing on the body. You know, at least they, they look like they match and belong with this set. Dad looks OK. He looks pretty young, man. He's wearing his pattern outfit as well on both sides. He looks fine. Printing looks OK on these guys. You got the mama. Mm, I just don't like her hair, the eyes, eyebrows may be a little bit thick, but printing, other than that, it's a-okay. Got a little girl here, she's like blushing, and she's similar to the panels one, but with the, the fur thick jacket on, but different colors, and she looks pretty good on both sides. And we got the little son. The son probably has the worst looking color on him, that blue. Yeah, kind of blue is that? Yeah, kind of plain. He looks jolly, he looks like he's got fat little cheeks there with a smile. That's it. Yeah, that's the family of six. Yeah, hey, dimension times. So here we go. You have a 32 by 32 base plate. We're gonna measure like so for the width. And that is 20 studs by width. What about the length? Can you guys guess it? Can you figure it out already? Ooh, 20 by 32. Not too bad. Now let's look at the height. Break out your one by four bricks there and let's stack them up together. And yeah, you're roughly looking at about 10 bricks in height. There you go. Swish, swish. There's your dimensions. Here they are with the minifigures inside. You got the daughter at the table and the mother at the table going, where's everyone? Time for dinner. Daddy's looking at his trophies and boy's getting his soda from the fridge. And then you got grandpa and grandma over here sitting down on the couch having a banana. The overall size is pretty okay. Sorry, I can't compare them to the other two because they're at home. Maybe I'll do a quick shot of the stuff of the set that you're seeing at home. Do you see it? Are you seeing it? That's with all three of them. They all three look nice together, and at least they are all different from one another. This one is trying to be similar to the Lego, but it's not quite there. So let me know what you think in the comments, whether or not you like this or not, if you would consider it. Yeah, is it available on the store? I don't think we put it up yet, but you know, just email us if you're interested, or you know, maybe you can find it online yourself. But if you need our help, we'll be there for you. That's why I have the store for you guys. You know, I just need to put this on inventory. Man, time to get back to work. All right, you guys, until next time, pick me out. Is there anything inside the presents? I hear something inside, man. That is so detailed. They have something inside this thing. No, I'm just kidding, man. It's just one by two studs. Look, I, I'm trying to show you guys that if I plate it like this, this is the only way it will plate without falling over. I know that looks kind of wrong. Yeah, but that's the best way to do it, man. Nothing wrong with that. Wow. Frick. Drop the table again. More music, yo. I don't even know why the presents are even there. This ain't Christmas, yo. Panels try to do Thanksgiving. These guys try to do Christmas. It's Chinese New Year's Eve, man. It's just dinner with the family. Come out. The picture frame, the television, the signs along the door, and the welcome sign are all stickers. But the table are all prints. How dare you try to copy Lego, you sons of a frickin' fruitball. Keeps falling over on this table. I'm trying to decorate it for you guys. Daddy, daddy, brother's so close to the TV. You better tell him to get back. Son, you're sick.
sister's right. Step back from the TV, boy. Bad for your eyes. Oh, come on, Daddy. This is so much fun to watch. I love this song. Bring, 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 bring. Who is who are you calling at this time? It's family time. Hiya. Why? To mercy. Huh? My ma? Dad, what are you talking about, man? You know I can't speak Chinese. A deer and a man just attacked my brother's family, and they just got away. We have to go help them right now. There's no time to explain. We need to go find that deer. Oh, but we're just starting the hot pot. I'm so hungry. I need to eat right now. Thank you, Grandpa. That's all I needed to hear. Let me go! What do you think you're doing? Those two belong to me. You stay out of this. Oh! I need to refill my energy. Give me some of your food. No! You can't touch my strawberry milk! Not for me! You listen up here, you, you big monster! You don't hurt my family like that! If you're gonna get there, I'm gonna go with you. And what makes you think you can join me? Well, I know where they are. Do you know where they are? You're right. You will lead me to them. Mister, where do you think you're going? You just destroyed our dinner, you hurt my dad, and I'm gonna take my son? I don't have time for this. But once I'm finished with dear, I will be sure to bring him back. And you can feast on the best meat in the world. Well, all right, that actually sounds pretty good. All right, son, you be careful now. You behave. They're not too far. We can get them. We are one step closer to getting them. We'll be back with those two. We'll see you guys later. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see more of these. And I'll be back.